keep getting criticized at work for having money by people who make the same wage. Hey everyone, welcome back to Child Free for Life. Don't forget to subscribe to Be a For Lifer. My husband and I work at the same place and get a lot of jealousy at work because everyone assumes we are loaded. We actually aren't, but we are comfortable. We each pull in a good amount bi-weekly and our bills are fairly minimal. We have one vehicle, which is a leased Toyota. About three years ago or so, we bought a cheap apartment for 60K, so our mortgage is actually less than our car payment. We chose the apartment that we knew would suck up heat from others, so our electricity is minimal in the winter due to not having to turn on the heat. We just bought a second place. It was cheap due to being a crime scene, and once it's renovated, we are going to move in there and sell our current place at a profit. We travel, we even rent a place in another country for two months of every year. We call in sick when we are sick. We use all our vacation time off for fricks and giggles because we refuse to not use the vacation time we earn. The kicker is everyone at our job makes the same wage, if not more. We are unions, so there are three levels of pay, which the entry level starts at $27 per hour. We're not the first couple to work there. There are also plenty of higher earning couples where one makes the level three tier while the spouse is off making $40 per hour in healthcare or whatever. They don't seem to realize that the only difference is that they have kids. They have had to buy bigger houses to accommodate their kids. Then they had to buy bigger vehicles to transport those kids. Then they had to either pay for childcare or choose a stay at home parent to care for those kids. That's not even including all the other costs associated with having children. It amazes me how they can be so jealous or say things like, well, I wish I had that kind of money. Or, I wish I could live in another country for two months of the year. They could have. They could have easily done that. They chose to breed expensive living beings instead. I just don't get how they don't realize that's the difference and criticize us. We can't even mention that we hire a housekeeper for two hours a month without having some snide remarks about how they wish they could afford it. It's $40. I feel like this might come off as a humble brag or something, but I don't mean it to. I really don't. I just don't understand how people who make the same or more than us in the exact same profession with the exact same vacation time or sick day allowance act so offended by our lifestyle. I've even taken on a second job on my weekends for extra income. Student loans, yo. And cause I'm bored. And I get criticism. It's either, I wish I had time to take off from parenting to get a second job. Or, can you leave that job open for the stay at home moms? You don't need it. I'm hesitant to say to anyone I work with because before I got this job, I was pretty poor. I was making $900 a month doing the same hours I do now, with rent at $700 a month. I'm lucky to have this job. I have $45,000 in student loans, but I got a job that pays $70,000 a year with only a high school diploma, so I appreciate the job I have. I think that's why I get angry when people in my job nip at me. They lucked out getting this good paying job with nothing but a grade 12 and a clean pee test and yet they squander it all away and end up in debt due to children. Years ago, my best friend developed a great response to the things your coworkers say. She's divorced, child-free, and makes in the neighborhood of 185,000 US dollars annually. She owns a nice paid off two bedroom condo in a great neighborhood, owns a new sports car, takes at least one two week international trip a year, and does a lot of local fine dining. She's heard, must be nice, and I wish I had that kind of money from her salary peers with kids. She basically replies with something along the lines of, life is all about trade-offs. The reason I can do these things is because I decided not to have kids, so I don't want kid-related expenses. However, that also means I don't get any of the benefits that come from having children. You, on the other hand, decided to have children. That means you get all the benefits of having kids but it also means you don't get the benefits that comes with not having children, such as the disposable income to go on trips or pay off your home early. We can't have everything, so we make the choices that are right for us because life is all about trade-offs. With me and my partner working full-time, we still struggle to make ends meet. We couldn't travel and go on vacations. We couldn't go to the movies every weekend. All we could think of was how much more screwed we would be if we had another mouth to feed. It wasn't until a few years ago in our late 30s that we started to finally have disposable income, meaning we can eat at a restaurant any night of the week and go see a movie. We still didn't have a buttload of money to take a long and expensive vacation, but we did save up enough to buy a house. It's hard for me to get out of the penny pinching mentality even though we are comfortable right now, but my family thinks we are rich when we aren't. We just don't struggle to pay our bills anymore. It's surprising to me that people who think not living paycheck to paycheck or not struggling above the poverty line is rich. 
is pretty telling. I wish more folks weren't stuck in situations like that. I'm really happy for you and your husband that you were able to get out of that struggle. Thanks. It's frustrating to watch my family continue to struggle, although my brother is starting to get where I am and he has two kids. My stepdad makes so much more money than I do, but he is always broke and begging for handouts. And it all has to do with his spending habits. I need help paying rent this month. If I don't make a car payment, they're going to repo the car. Meanwhile, he takes everyone out to dinner on a weekly basis. There's about eight of them, sometimes more if they take a neighbor. Goes to the movies all the time, sometimes to see the same movie twice. Pays for all the streaming services and cable and rents things from places like rent center that ultimately costs more money for something you could have saved up and bought. But he had to have it now. I feel that. My mom doesn't work and still lives with her own mother, even though she's 50. I think she's a big part of why I don't want kids. She seems to think I can just blow shifts whenever I want and has this huge amount of cash laying around. We aren't rich. We have a savings account and we travel constantly. We can book a trip anywhere, anytime, without much thought, but that's because we skimp on other stuff and work over 48 hours a week sometimes. And she constantly gripes how expensive it was to raise me and my sister despite how she literally never did it alone and I wasn't even in her custody for years. She wants me to pay for her to take trips with us and crap, despite claiming she can't work. And I refuse. Like, nah. I ain't paying the minimal cost she spent to raise me. That's not how it works. Get a freaking job. I had a supervisor nag that he makes more money than me, but can't afford what we do. I was newer at the time, so I was casual. Like, well, it must be expensive with kids. We try to keep our costs low. Later in the day, he was like, wow, you have so much gray hair. I was late 20s at the time and I do have loads, but I felt like his weird comment on my features was related to our earlier conversation. So I just made a snide comment like, Wow, I can see why you make more than me. Your powers of observation are top notch. And he shut up. We are friends now, but it was such a weird interaction from a supervisor that I didn't quite fully understand until recently. My sister-in-law used to make remarks like this to myself and my husband. We both have good jobs and have worked our way up in companies. We're in no way rich, but we are comfortable. Have a house, two cars, and we used to travel four times a year. COVID curtailed that. Sister-in-law is a stay-at-home mom with two kids. Dad works, but would say pay is only okay. They have a free house as it belonged to her grandparents and was given to her to live in. No rent or mortgage. She's always saying, oh, it must be nice to go on holidays, etc., etc. I'd love to come back. Yeah, not having kids really frees up time and money, but she's overly sensitive, so would probably say I was bullying her. Particularly amused by the leave those jobs for the stay-at-home moms people, mostly because not a day passes where I don't see this type of post on local or community message boards. Need a job right away. No food service or call centers. And I have to make at least $15 an hour. Can only work 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and no weekends because I have kids. No experience in insert any skilled jobs here, but willing to learn. Okay, maybe envision that post with more typos. I just can't bring myself to replicate that part. Yeah, like they're entitled to whatever conditions they desire just because they made a lifestyle choice. I had a subcontractor once complain that I was coming down too hard on him because he was out in the middle of the day driving his kid around instead of getting a job I was paying him to do, done. He was crying about having kids to take care of and I said, that sounds like a you problem and not a me problem. Don't bring your lifestyle problems to work. Just get it done. And there's no reasoning with them. I once tried. Very gently, for I had sympathy for the woman who was posting one of those posts, to let her know, hey, everyone wants that kind of situation. And if you can, I hope you might be able to reach out to a good support system and get childcare so you can have more flexibility in working hours and more job choices and less competition. Somehow, I was the butt wipe because you don't know what it's like. Truly enough that I don't, but I watched my mother as I grew up and that is how she made it work. It was and is good advice, they just don't want to hear it. Entitled is right.